Hey guys, John here and welcome back to the NASCAR 06 Fantasy Cup. Today, we have a 100 lap race at Nazareth Speedway, Mini Pocono. Not one of my best tracks, so this one should be interesting. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to have a runaway victory here. Uh, I did have a suggestion that if these races continue to be super easy, maybe I should skip qualifying and fight my way through the pack. That's definitely something I will con yeah, keep under consideration if I could speak the English. Um, but for today, I think I'm going to try because, like I said, this isn't one of my best tracks and all that. So this will be interesting. Uh, let's, uh, let's head on to Nazareth. All right, here we go. Oh, God. So, yeah, I've always struggled there at that, uh, whoa, ha, whoa, whoa, at that uh, triangular part of the track there. It has always kind of been a place that can bite me. Oh, car, why are you so loose? Okay. Hang on to it. I went half round down on the wedge before I even ran this qualifying lap because, ah, uh, frick. I gotta enter that, but, oh well. Sixth it is. Um, I, I loosened it up a little bit because I figured we would need it. Um, but no, I don't think we do. Oh boy, I gotta figure this track out quick. Alright, let's be careful here, shall we? Right off the start, the AI can sometimes be a little weird at that triangle part too. Oh. I do not like being on the outside either. At all. And I gotta try to figure out where my teammates are at some point. I kind of forgot to look at the qualifying order. My bad. Oops. A little contact. Oh no. Why are we three wide? This is a bad idea. This is a Bad idea. Sorry, Kansas. That was, um, yep. That was not good. Not good at, oh. Messing up everybody's day here. Alright, I really, really want to get to the bottom. And got there. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's, uh,. Actually get through this part. Yes, did it. Okay, cool. All right, Rudd, just make this pass. Okay. Cool. All right. We're back to where we started. Let's. Uh... Oh my gosh. It mean to do that. <laughs> On breaking, the car just dipped down and got in the. I would say the apron, but the, the grass there, and then I did that because, you know, I'm trash. Jeez, okay. So this one's definitely not um, not a shoe-in victory here, although I think if we could ever just piece together a clean lap that we could easily drive to the front, but uh, getting through here in one piece is the... Uh, Problem. Oh, Vickers did what I usually do. Drove it straight into the fence back there behind me. Okay. Huh, that's been an eventful beginning. Gonna dime that entry and get underneath Kyle, but I'd rather be clear. Yes, okay, by the time we get up here. And he did the same thing. Did you see that? Kyle did the exact same thing Vickers did the lap before. Luckily, I did not. Okay, we are clear into three. Three? Third. And, uh... See if we can chase down Biffle and Waltrip here, who have broken away a bit. Well, mostly only because I've either wrecked everyone behind them, how, or... The AI has been wrecking themselves, but 
It's definitely giving these two a get. Where am I going? Why is this car just suddenly turning sometimes without me wanting it to? Come on now. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Did not enter that turn right that time, or maybe if you call it a turn, whatever the frick it's supposed to be. I didn't do it right. <laughs> I always wonder, like, with, for example, with Pocono, is it three turns? Is it five, six? And then this place reminds me much of the same, because, like, you could consider these as. Like, instead of one and two, this could just be like one big turn, but how is this any different than the one and two of any track? Like, there's always, it's always considered two there. So I guess technically this is five turns? Or the entry and exit separate in the little triangle bit, so it's six. I don't know. Don't glitch on me, game. I saw that. Um... But yeah, it's always kind of finicky. Finicky? That's not the word I was looking for. It's always kind of... I don't know. Whatever. They're, they're strange about how they label track... Or, uh, turns at tracks. But, yeah. Whatever. Alright, so I've caught them. Can I make the pass? This is not the place to do it, though. So I'm going to back off. I do not want to dive under him going into this triangle bit. And I freaking... Ah... Saved it. <laughs> We're very fast. We're just uh, out of control most of the time. So there's that, I guess. Okay. It's kind of a high lane there going in. Thought I could cross over. Could not. That was much better. If I could do that every time, I don't think we'd have a bit of trouble. Try to get under a wall trip here. In clear. Yes. Okay. Oh, we got to run on Biffle. But we're going to be beside him up here. Unless we clear him. We did, somehow. Oh, God. That didn't go well. I did not have a good entry because I was swinging out to clear him and then, yeah. Didn't quite work out for us now, did it? Alright, well we're having a fight for this and we still haven't seen where our teammates are yet either. To help them out. Oh my gosh, I can't get through there for some reason. One out of five times I'll hit it, it seems like. Maybe this is a good time to go see where these guys are at. Alright, so Stuart's 15th and Labani 16th. Interesting. Oh, where am I going? I'm looking at my mirror. Well, actually Labani's 17th, but... Still. We're very close to each other is the idea. Uh, okay, okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Situation's normal. How are you? Dip underneath. Uh, okay. Get uh, get Stewart up here, solidly inside the top ten or so. Oh, haha. <laughs> mm, saved it? Question mark. <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> uh, oh. That car up ahead there. 36 car, the white back in. Just seeing it just makes me frustrated. Because that's the car I drive in career mode, which I've been having issues with. Which is really annoying. But hopefully I can get that fixed. Somehow. I don't know what I can do exactly, but definitely give it a try. Um, but yeah, kind of got PTSD about that car at this rate. 
Also, Boris said is driving it, and Rick Boris said, right? Never, never been a fan of the guy, but I mean, I I can appreciate that he has talent at road courses, but he sure caused a lot of grief in NASCAR, and never was real sorry about it. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Aggressiveness is cool and all, but look at that. What are you doing to me? Oh, this is going to end poorly. Oh! <laughs> Saved it. And you really need to get get out of the grass. You know, this not smart. Uh, but anyway. But yeah. Not a big fan. what I'm getting at. Alright. Uh, probably about time to grab Labani so we can gain him some spots. But... Oh, what am I doing? Okay. But let's just get uh, Stuart. Has Newman. Hello, Newman. Okay. Bobby is 16th, so we'll try to run him up here. Wonder. Let's see, I don't think I've lost any spots with. My car saved it. <laughs> I don't know how that wasn't a caution. Because I should have been spun around there. Okay, well that, that happened. I've really got to get better at this whatever it is. Dog leg, not dog leg. I don't know what the frick to call it. This extra turn, let's just say that. Okay, we're good. I gotta get better at that. I gotta stop running into people. I gotta stop getting on the grass. Like, there's a lot of things I need to, to fix here. That I'm just not exactly managing to do. Oh, sorry, Elliot. Um, I'm not a big fan of this situation. But we're gonna make it work, I think. That wasn't bad. Not bad at all. Little by little, little by little, working our way up, eh? Jimmy Johnson getting a bit uh, wide there. Kurt Busch get by him. Dang it. Every time I think, yeah, I've got this, I can get more casual with my entry. Nope. Comes back to bite me. I say, we're going to try to follow Kurt past Jimmy, and we are doing so. Let's not get underneath Kurt here. That was almost perfect, in fact. Good entry and uh, got through there and actually got underneath Kurt and now underneath Matt. Legend difficulty, where if you drive a Gibbs car or any of the top tier teams, you just pass everybody like they're sitting still. Halfway on field, right lap 25's end here. That's interesting. Obviously, I'm not saving as much fuel as the AI would be. So hopefully, oh, there's my car actually. It has fallen back. That's too bad. Um, hopefully, yeah, the AI is saving fuel in my car. Let's see. Well, we've got him in here, so. A solid top 10 spot. Oh, careful. Showing halfway for mine, too, so they didn't really save any different amount. It doesn't seem like this time. And Biffle and Waltrip are pretty much gone. They definitely drove away while the AI was driving this car. Yeah, pit stops are going to... I mean, I'm going to try to get it past halfway or right at halfway so we can you know, make sure that we can make it on one stop because, yeah, we want that. <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't know. 
I guess we just uh, ride here a bit and hope that we can make it to halfway and not hit the wall here a bunch. Dang it. Oh man, we caught him underneath Biffle. Ooh, Tony just pitted. Seeming along with some others. Oh, I should not be down here. This is going to be bad. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. I shouldn't have made the move. I wasn't even thinking. I was thinking about who was pitting, and then I was just underneath him. And we're in the lead. Don't push your fuel too far. So if they're pitting now, they must be doing two stops, right? Yeah, no way could they. Like, even if you can stretch it to 50. Which I don't think we can, actually, now that I'm looking at this. There's no way I'm going to go 16 more laps now that the orange fuel light's on. But I guess there are going to be two pit stops? I'm confused. I'm always confused in this game when then there are more than one pit stop in a race because... Uh, that, yeah, it's, you, you get so used to it being the other way. That was actually really nice there. I don't know how I got away with that, but it was quite well done. Look at this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard to wrap your head around, basically. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do here. And when you have the track to yourself, though, that entry is a lot easier. Red fuel light just came on. Wait, Stewart blew up, didn't he? Oh no! Well, rip the the chance of us staying all in the top five every time. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Huh, that stinks. Um, okay, well, we'll help him overcome that next week. But uh, yeah, I don't think I can really stretch this any further. It's interesting though that I've had no tire wear in this, which definitely makes me wonder about all that. So I'm guessing we, if we take four tires now, we shouldn't need tires at the end, even if we do need a splash of fuel. That's, oh god. I thought they would give me another warning that the fuel tank was almost empty. Crap, they didn't. Um, well, rip. Usually they're like, fuel tank's almost dry, or it's on fumes, and not this time. I got no advanced warning. Well, that stinks. There goes all that advantage I'd built up. Well, we made it to pit road. No damage. You know what? Just doing right side tires. All right. Oh, we're gonna LePage him. Let's go. Get up to speed. And we are out in front. But we are on two tires. However, tire wear didn't seem to be a huge issue and we're gonna have to pit again, so yeah. At best, we would make it to, like, lap 88. That was close. Uh, before we had to pit again. So. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, where's Bobby at? Not too bad, but uh, we'll probably go back and help him here in a minute. I just want to try to lead and run some smooth laps up here. Oh, 
That was decent. Stop getting in the freaking grass here. I think we'd be much better off. Gapping Biffle a little bit here. Okay, that was not perfect. Actually lost time there. Didn't do that quite right, but we didn't hit the wall, so that's something, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and help Bobby. What the frick just happened? What the frick just happened? My car just crashed as soon as I gave up control of it. Did you see that? And then drove into the... What the frick? What the frick? And then drove into the... What the frick? What the frick? Uh, no. Although, I probably should have. I might have been able to make it from there, huh? Alright, is my car okay? I guess so. Oh, what the frick happened? The AI just, like, wigged out when I turned over control. That was weird. Very weird. All right. Well, that changed things a bit, didn't it? Kind of wish now that I had pitted, maybe, that we probably could have made it from there or very closely. Like, I think it would have been within a few laps. I don't know. Probably not. Honestly, it's probably smarter to just let this play out the way it's gonna. It's probably smarter. Whoops. Oh, God. Back off, back off, back off. Get through this corner. There you go. Don't do anything stupid like get in the grass. Our car just a bit. But it seems to be doing anything. But tried. Okay. Actually, gonna try to get Bobby a lap led here. Kind of worried about switching over control because I'm afraid he's just gonna like wig out too. Oh, Biffle! She crowded me. Bonnie did not wig out, so. <laughs> and he got his lap led. What am I doing? Okay. So. Go, Bobby, go. I probably should not be to the inside of you for this turn. We survived. Yay. Pull away from Biffle a little bit here with Bobby. That'd be nice. Okay. 
Very nice indeed. Right up on his bumper here. And if we can make this pass. Three and four. We definitely can. Alright. So let's uh see if we can't pull away a bit here. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Lefts are gonna wear out faster, but just take care of it, we'll be fine. Of course we will have to pit again. Probably 12, 13 laps to go, something like that. So yeah, we'll see how that all goes, I guess. Little check in here on lap 65. We've pulled out to a two and a half second lead. Bobby is still second, I think. Yes, you can just barely see him in the mirror there. And uh, I'm running decent lap times. I'm not making mistakes. And uh, yeah, things are going pretty well. Halfway on gas. So that's about when I thought it would be, yeah. I'm gonna run out 87, 88, something like that. So that's not so bad. Um, oh, there's people pitting already, actually. Interesting. I mean, technically, yes, you can definitely make it from here. So maybe pitting earlier would be smarter, but not going to do it right now. And both left sides are yellow now. All right. But yeah, I'm going to ride this out a ways longer. Maybe not wait as long as I thought, but... Yeah. All right, gonna be bringing her in this time. Bye. And uh, oh, that was close. Um, because there's only twenty to go, I think I can safely take just one can of fuel. Maybe. We're going to hope. Uh, and uh, I'm going to take uh, just left side tires. May come back to bite me, but you never know. That was a decent entry. Uh, left sides. No. And uh, one can. See what happens. Real careful coming out in traffic here. Did not mean to get in the grass. All right. And we have the leads. The lead is still by how much? It's still trying to figure that out. 15 seconds. Wow, okay, so that worked out. But the problem we do have this time is that the rights are starting to wear, which is going to affect our handling more than the lefts were, but I decided I didn't want to do the whole race on the same left side tires and risk some sort of issue from that, so I'm just going to have to deal with some, some mild wear on the rights and hope that the car doesn't get too crazy tight. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so... Okay, that was a little scary. Careful of this traffic, careful of our fuel, but I think we're going to be fine. We're going to win handily here. Um, do I risk going back to see how Bobby's doing? Um, he's not in second. Looks like he's in third. Uh, fuel is at half. Yeah, we're fine on fuel then. I'm just worried this car might go crazy if I give up control of it again, but I do kind of want to help Bobby get second. Uh, why am I fighting so hard to pass these guys? I don't know.
Let's go ahead and switch. Alright, so he was holding off Jeff Gordon there, but Biffle was getting away from him, so... Oh, Jeff just drove it in the fence. The AI does that not quite as much as I do, but they do it sometimes. Got loose there. Yeah, let's just hope my car doesn't decide it. it's going to pit because it's, you know, got some tire wear or something stupid like that. It'd be dumb. All right, Biff, we'll get back here. Be ready to switch to my car in case something happens. Okay, it just sometimes turns way more than you expect it will. The grip is just there sometimes, and you're just down in the grass. Uh, this is not the place to make this pass. Okay, that was very daring there, but it helped me get the run. Ooh, okay. So let's get him a little bit of a cushion here. The timer is freaking out. Sometimes it's 639 seconds and sometimes it's 15. Yeah, let's get him a little bit of a cushion here. Then we'll switch back. I just ran the fastest lap with Bobby. That's funny. Alright, final stretch here. Yeah, both right side tires yellow. It's fine. I feel like I gave Bobby enough of an advantage that he should be fine. Uh, it's too bad about Stewart, though. It's going to be uh, a hit for him in the points for sure. Especially since Biffle's just pretty much always up here with us, so... Stewart could take, uh, take a bit of a drop in position. Uh, but yeah, we just gotta survive here. I, don't, I really shouldn't be pushing it with the traffic. I've got you know, a big lead, but I don't know, I just struggle to ride behind people, <laughs> even though I probably should in this case, Oop, ouch, um, but I don't want to, I want to lap people, <laughs> can't help it. I want to pass every car in front of me and then pass them again. Fuel's gonna be fine. Don't need to worry about that. Four laps to go. Get underneath Travis Quapple here because frick him. Alright. So yeah, this race was definitely eventful. Um, we obviously struggled in the beginning. We started to get a feel for it. Then we ran out of gas in order to get, or well, to keep our track position. We went with a uh, two tire pit stop, which worked. Um, and well, mostly worked. I think we came out third, right? But um, we got the lead back, and then we helped out our teammates. And when it came time to pit again, we uh, we made sure to take two tires again, which we really didn't need to do. We could have taken four, probably, but we only needed one can of fuel, and I decided that uh, there was no sense in not taking the advantage that we would get so i did and now we have the white flag lap 100 and uh we have a 16 second lead for sure labani's still in second so this all worked out well i wouldn't say it was too easy because we had to fight for it and uh, but it is our fourth consecutive win that's a thing, but we did it! Went away to chicken dinner! Car's a bit beat up from banging into the wall off that little turn, extra turn every every so often, but 
Worked out. All right. So let's look at these race results. Yep, Bobby held on to second. He even led a few laps. I led 59, so I get bonus points for that as well. Leading the most. Scroll on through. Oh yeah, Michael ended up 11th. Don't know what happened to him. He definitely faded at the end. Uh, and only 16 cars on the lead lap. And of course, Tony Stewart with some sort of mechanical failure, probably engine. On lap 34, so that is rough. But uh, yeah, let's go look at the points after the celebration. And the driver's standings are... Ugh, yeah. Stewart fell to fifth. Actually, Biffle's not up here. Kurt Busch, Carl Edwards. Biffle in eighth. He must not have done well at Dodge or New York because he was up there in the top five at uh, Daytona. Anyway, so yeah. There's some points here. But uh, so far, so good. We are flawless. In the 11 with Jason Leffler. Bobby Labonte hanging in there second. And we're just going to have to do some work to get Stewart back up there as well. But that will be for next time in which we head off to uh, Phoenix Road Course for the Sandstorm 500K. 67 laps around the Phoenix Road Course, which is a pretty good road course. I do sometimes struggle with the... Uh, with the hairpin, but I usually make up a bunch of time and uh, and the chicane, so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, either way, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, hammer that like button, share with your friends, subscribe if you're new, to join the Wolf Pack, and I will see you next time for more. Bye. Just shut up and die.